Hello, in this video we're going to do a proof. We're going to prove that the square root of 19 is what's called an irrational number. So let's go ahead and just jump into it and I'll show you a one way to do it. There's more than one way to do this proof. And if you have other ways of doing this, um, you know, leave a comment, show your solution, because I'm pretty sure there's more than one way to do this. This is just one way to do it and I'm not saying it's the best way, but hopefully you understand my way. So. To prove that it's irrational. So we're gonna use something that you learn in a college algebra class. So if you go to college and you take a class like college algebra, you learn something that we're going to use in this proof. So in theory, after you took that class, you could do this proof. So if we look at the equation, so note, look at the equation x squared minus 19, okay? And we set that equal to zero. So this is a quadratic equation. This has square root of 19 as a solution, which is also called a root, as a root. Since, well, what does it mean for the square root of 19 to be a root of this equation or a solution? It basically means if you take the square root of 19 and you put it where the x is, the equation will be true. So let's do that. So if I put the square root of 19 where the x is, we get the square root 19, and that's squared, minus 19. And the square root of 19, square root is 19, so you get 19 minus 19. So you just get zero in this case. So this is a root of this equation. So why does that matter? What, what does that have to do with the square root of 19 being irrational? Well, there's something called the rational roots theorem. So by the rational roots theorem, roots theorem, if you look at something called the rational roots theorem, the factors of this equation, so the factors Or rather the possible possible rational roots of x squared minus 19 equals 0 are, this is why I was saying the factors, <laughs> the factors of this constant term divided by the factors of leading coefficient, so they would be factors of negative 19 over the factors of 1. And the factors of negative 19 are plus or minus 1 and plus or minus 19. The factors of 1 are plus or minus 1. So you're just going to get 1 over 1, so you get plus or minus 1. 19 over 1, so you just get plus or minus 19. So the rational roots theorem is telling us that the possible rational roots of this equation, so the ones that are possible, are these here, okay? But we know that the square root of 19 is a root of this equation, and it is not among this list. So therefore, it cannot be rational because it's not among the list of possible rational roots, and we know it is indeed a root. So therefore, the square root of 19 is let me just say square root of 19 instead of the square root of 19. So therefore, square root of 19 is not rational. In other words, it's rational. It est. It is irrational. So kind of an interesting approach to um, prove that a number is irrational, right? So you can try to use the rational roots theorem. So if you have another way of doing this, another solution, um, you know, leave, leave a comment. Good luck.